back to my channel. So today I have come up with something new for you. So we'll be discussing about few nano science and nanotechnology related journals where you can think of publishing your research articles. So today we all know how important is publication in an academic career. So let me give you a few Scopus or Web of Science Index journals where you can think of publishing your article. And these journals are either Quartile 1 or Quartile 2. So this also is very important now. The publications that we publish should be of good reputation and Quartile 1 and Quartile 2 would be the top reputation for these journals. So in this way, before understanding, let us first see how to identify the quartile. So most of us might be worried to understand which quartile does this journal fall under. So we might go searching with Schemago or something like that. But let me tell you, scopus.com is more authentic source where you can try to check. So just type www.scopus.com and this you will come to this page. So in this you have to click on sources. Okay, so you can see here sources. Once you click on sources, you will get this page. So here you can select based on different things like you can select the subject area, you can select the title of the journal itself. If you are uh, knowing the publisher name, you can put the publisher name or you can put the ISSN number of the journal. So I suggest you either search with title or ISSN that will be easy for you. So once you type that here, you will press this find sources. Okay, so once you do that, you will again select here okay the, you will get a display like this in the left side of the page okay so here you can see something called as quartile one second quartile third quartile fourth quartile so imagine i want to search for applied nanoscience okay so in the previous page where i showed you that you can type the title there you would have typed applied nanoscience once you type that here i am selecting quartile one because i want to know if this journal is coming under quartile one so I will come and select this quartile one here and I will press this apply button. So once I do that, in case the journal is coming in that page, that indicates that this particular journal is Q1. So it is falling under the quartile one. So now see what I'm doing. So next search what I have done is the same applied nanoscience. I've just clicked for quartile two. Okay, so instead of quartile one, I know now this journal is Q1. Just to show you what happens if you click on Q2. Okay, so if I click on quartile 2 and then press apply, sorry. So once I press apply, you can see that you will get something like this. No sources were found. So that indicates that this particular journal is not a Q2 journal, but it is a Q1 journal. So using this, this will be very useful for identifying the quartile of a journal, which will be very useful for you during publication. So this we keeps on changing based on the Scopus database. So whenever you're thinking of publishing any article in any journal, you can check for this in Scopus database and then only go ahead. So coming to the journals which I'm discussing today, first journal is Chemosphere. Okay, so this is the website, how it looks. And this journal has an impact factor of 8.943. So the ISSN number of that is this particular thing, 0045-6535. And this journal uh, publishes 12 issues per year. So monthly uh, issues will be there about this from this journal. And this journal, uh, it, uh, the scope of this is in different areas. So even nanotechnology, nanoscience related papers where you have applications of these nano uh, materials in different areas like toxicology or mutagenesis studies or some chemical uh, pollution related studies. So all those kind of papers can be published in this particular journal. So it uh, has a H index of 265 and as I told you, it has a quartile of one, this particular journal also. And the publisher is Elsevier and this is one important thing which you need to check that is the Scopus coverage. So this journal has the Scopus coverage from 1972 to present. So that tells you that this journal is definitely a good journal and you can think of publishing your article in this particular journal. Coming to the review period, it takes approximately one to two months. And publication after the review, again, it takes approximately one to two weeks. And uh, again, this publication cost in this particular journal, there are two modes. One is you can either uh, select the subscription mode where your publication will be entirely free of cost. And another one is uh, if you want open access where people can see your paper openly and they can uh, you can get more citations for your paper, then you may have to pay a, a publication charge. And this for this particular journal, the publication charge is US dollars 3,500. And this is the journal link. 
The second journal which we are uh, focusing today is Environmental Research. This is the page of the Environmental Research Journal. And the impact factor of this is again 8.431. So ISSN is 0013-9351. Even this journal has 12 issues per year, which is a monthly journal. So even this is a multidisciplinary journal where nanoscience, nanotechnology related papers, where you're focusing on water pollution, air pollution, air pollution control, environmental biotechnology, soil, water. So those kind of papers where basically you are having applications of this nanoscience and nanotechnology can fall into this particular area. And the H index is 149, again quartile is 1. So even this journal is uh, having a Scopus coverage from 1997 to present. It is indexed in both Scopus and Web of Science. The publisher is Elsevier and for the review process it usually takes around four weeks and publication duration again after the review it takes approximately two weeks for acceptance. So in this way even this is a hybrid model where the publication cost for open access is $3,550 and again I told as I told you free, uh, free publication if you want to do without paying any uh, processing fee you can go for the subscription model and this is the journal link. So coming to the third journal that is food and chemical toxicology. So this is also a good journal where you can think of publishing your article related to nanoscience and nanotechnology if you are focusing under these criteria, something related to food and chemical toxicology. So here your impact factor of this journal is 5.572 and this is the journal uh, website how it looks. So the ISSN of this is 02786915. The number of issues is 12 per year. So this is also a monthly journal. So as I told you with the research where you're focusing on the toxic effects of uh, nanotechnology on food, drugs, chemicals, agriculture, industry, consumer products. So those kind of thing you can think about here. So here the H index of this is 183 and the quartile is Q1. And even this journal is indexed in Scopus. The publication, uh, the publication coverage here, the Scopus coverage is from 1982 to present. So that indicates that these journals are really good. You can think, you need not think much where you are putting your papers in this particular kind of journals because it is quite consistent and uh, we can think of publishing your article here. So the publisher is elsewhere and review process approximately takes one month and publication duration again takes approximately one to two weeks after the acceptance of the paper. Even this is a hybrid model and this is the journal link. Coming to the fourth journal, we have Journal of Molecular Structure. So this is also a very uh, good journal where you can think of publishing your uh, research articles related to nanoscience and nanotechnology. So the impact factor of this journal is uh, 3.841. So ISSN of this is point, I mean 0022-2860. Again, this is a monthly journal where you have 12 issues per year. So definitely if there are more issues per year, the chance of acceptance will be good. But you need to have the quality for that paper, only then you, you will get the acceptance for those kind of papers. And here, uh, they basically the scope of this journal is uh, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, something to do with spectroscopy, analytical chemistry, polymers. So if you're working with polymers, nano-related uh, nano area, then this can be a good journal for you where you can think of publishing your article. The impact factor of this journal is 3.841 as on 2022. The H index is 110 and the quartile is Q2. So this is a journal which is indexed in Scopus. The publisher is Elsevier. And even this, you can just check the coverage is from 1967 to present. So that is what I'm telling you. Please check even the Scopus coverage. That will be helpful in you for you for deciding whether you should select this journal or not. Then finally, uh, review process approximately one to two months and publication duration approximately two weeks from acceptance. And again, this is a subscription or the uh, open access type, a hybrid model where the publication charge is 2840 US dollars and this is the link of the journal. So coming to the last journal, the fifth one, Applied Nanoscience. So this is the uh, journal how it looks. You can see the page if you type this and you will get the space. That is the authenticity of the page that I'm uh, showing you today. And this is the ISSN number 2190-5509. Number of issues is again 12 issues per year. So here the scope is uh, material science, chemistry, engineering, biotechnology, genetic and molecular biology. So it has got wide applications or wide range of scope. 
so if you if they feel that your paper has got some novelty then only they will select your papers so the impact factor is 3.869 h index is 61 and quartile is 1 even this is indexed in both scopus and web of science the publisher is springer nature so uh, the review process uh, usually takes 2 to 3 months and uh, 13 days it usually takes for for, for the decision like uh, in case you submit your article for the first decision whether they should think of considering your article or they are rejecting your article that usually happens within uh, 13 days and the publication duration takes approximately 1 month from the acceptance so this is again a hybrid model where you have subscription for free and open access you need to pay and uh, the payment is approximately 3390 dollars and this is the general link so thank you for watching do like the video do share it with the academic fraternity that you know so that in case they are working in this area of nano science and nano technology and they are thinking about which journals i can publish my research article this video that i have done will be much useful for them so do subscribe my channel and do support us and see to it that uh, 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 you can help us in some way around by sharing this video so that we can mu make much more educational videos for you like this and the journal links will be put in the description you can use that for further searching happy learning thank you